reality is a lot of them are getting anti-black racism from many sides. They're getting low expectations from teachers. They're getting ridicule from other students. They're not getting a, a, a sense of belonging. Parents and students say after years of alleged racism, multiple reports, and even an action plan, the Peel District School Board still isn't doing enough to fight against the mistreatment of black kids in the classrooms. I'm Natish Bassono in Mississauga, and tonight they've gathered to demand what they call real change. They say for far too long, black students have been feeling targeted, devalued, and socially isolated in schools. 13-year-old Asa Brooks is one of them. He says he is constantly being targeted by his teacher. It's more of a, like, I usually, like, have to deal with it because me and my other friend, we get picked on the most in our class. And everybody in our class knows it and points us out. But they support us to the fact where it's not really, like, a made fun of thing between our friends. It's more of a teacher thing. So it's not as bad as it would be if you would get picked on, but it's a bad thing because your teacher is out for you. For the last few years, the Peel District School Board has been sending its own managers, directors, principals and teachers back to school to address issues of racism and discrimination within its own ranks. The move came after two reports painted a troubling picture of deep-rooted discrimination at the school board towards black students. But some say the training isn't enough. Some say they want to see more dedicated resources and proper funding towards the We Rise Together action plan. We need a team in place to do that because right now there isn't anyone in place running the program. So we're looking for them to put someone in place for that. We're looking for funding to be put in place to support it. And we're also looking for them to actually have measurables so that we can go back and say, you know, if it's working or not working, how can we improve that? Whether someone is subconscious or conscious of racism, it's still racism and so we're trying our best now at least for me this is the way I can fight and aid my son at least through his schooling but it's a high percentage of black men that drop out of high school why it all starts in the classroom we need to reiterate and and constantly um, talk about the initiatives and gather input into those initiatives how we can make them better more effective etc as for those affected like Asa Brooks meetings like this one give them hope that things will get better most likely, yes, because if the school board sees this and then it would pass on to the schools and the school would pass it on to the teacher, I would think the teacher would obviously change. Parents and students say after years of alleged racism, multiple reports and even an action plan, the Peel District School Board still isn't doing enough to fight against the mistreatment of black kids in the classrooms. I'm Natish Bassono in Mississauga and tonight they've gathered to demand what they call real change.